So today we are going to be creating a flag, a dynamic flag inside of Maya. This is a pretty easy setup to do and uh, this will be pretty straightforward. So let's get into it. So let's take a simple cylinder here and uh, let's scale this up. This will be uh, the overall collider that's going to be holding the overall flag. So I'm going to scale this down and scale this up. And let's take a plane to simply have it as our cloth and let's rotate this to something like this and let's scale this pretty big okay so i think this is looking quite good i'm going to hit four on my keyboard in my front view just so i can see how much it's intersecting with the overall uh pool here and i'm going to go to my attributes and let's increase the subdivision to maybe something like a 40 and 40 and then we can probably catch this afterwards so we can increase this if you want so let's make it 50 actually so this will be our passive collider and this will be our cloth all right so let's go to the fx menu and i've created some amazing cloth simulation by using this method so the first thing is this will be the texture we are going to be using stay home stay safe uh, this is a simple uh, you can see overall poster that i created inside of photoshop some text and that's it and this is like a couple of examples that i can show you how i used this cloth simulation to one of my personal projects so you can get pretty amazing result with the overall cloth sim so i'm going to select this guy here let's create a passive collider here i'm going to sorry this one is a passive collider this is a cloth if i make this play it's going to fall exactly how it's supposed to do and uh, not this guy i'm going to select this plane here and i'm going to go to my vertex mode and let's select all the points here and hold shift on your keyboard and select your primitive and go to end constraint and point to surface now this guy is holding actually our passive collider is holding our overall cloth here so you can pretty much see these simple dots here which are representing how the connection is going on between them if i show you if you want to turn this off you can simply turn off the display connection if you want i like to keep them on sometimes so let's play this now so everything works perfectly but the thing is there is no wind the cloth is not flying the flag is not overall moving so let's do one thing instead of adding some extra field what we have is a nucleus which is a good thing and with the nucleus we have some wind attributes so i'm going to increase the wind speed to something like maybe a two just for the starters and let's keep increasing so let's say 10 all right so now it has pretty intense when all right the couple of things to know like this is your x y z direction if you want it if you want your plane to be moving on the other direction you can simply hit a negative value and that will just react to that so if i play this now this should go back yeah so you can do this kind of stuff so you can add a bit of y direction if you want if you want the plane to go up just a little bit so you can use that and you can add some noise pattern to this just so the overall wind looks a bit more distorted so you can see that overall on your plane here so i think i'm going to go for maybe like a 12 or maybe like a 15 all right so 15 sounds good this looks good and uh, we can use this so let's keep it like that maybe like 18 or something and let's apply some texture onto this so i'm going to add a new material here and you can pretty much use anything you want any image that you want you can add your own country flag if you want and i'm going to drive in my image here so let's go to select file all right so i've loaded in my image and this is how my image looks on this plane and i'm going to select this guy and let's add a new material to this as well so i'm going to add this as a simple pool and let's give it a simple i don't know brush metal i guess and i think the overall cloth is good enough for the overall so I, I didn't actually have to use any uvs on this because this was perfectly mapped so this is a good thing so we have this texture and you can pretty much render this and you can play around with this if we go into the ipr mode and play this here all right so this is what we have nice cloth looking sim so let's see that in some action i'm going to simply play this here to see how this cloth reacts to the overall design here all right so this is what you have so if we go to the overall ipr here all right so this looks pretty neat this looks pretty good the overall shininess on the i'm really digging the overall shininess on the cloth here so you can see how good looking this is the overall scene here so we have a pretty nice looking scene overall so you can play around with the different kind of thing the other thing that you can do with this is if you want to 
tear this apart like we saw in the earlier video what you can do is you can simply go to your overall constraint let me just select your brush here and you can select anything that you want on the overall um, cloth here so I'm going to just randomly draw some pattern here and uh, this will be the points which are like terrible so I'm going to go to my end constraint and I'm going to say like these points are going to be my terrible surface so if I go back here and if I play this now all right so we have some problem regarding the overall uh, constraint here because i think uh, when selecting the overall points here somehow those points must have been selected so i'm going to play this now just to check the overall simulation simulation looks good so i'm going to go back here and uh, let's select this go to object mode just to recheck this and i can draw this pattern again something like this and terrible surface all right so there we go so perfectly done and now obviously we don't see any tearing up uh, going apart because uh, the wind is not strong enough to make this break apart so what you are going to, we, what we are going to do is simply go to the nucleus and we are going to increase the wind speed until it breaks now you have two options you can do two things the second thing is go to the constraint and you can play around with this and the glue so you can change the connection method uh, the overall distance how much uh, distance is going to hold up and then you have the glue the overall strength here you also have the strength of the overall constraint here and you can play around with the glue how much it's going to hold up so i i usually use the overall nucleus because i think it's pretty straightforward but you can pretty much play around with anything that you want so i'm going to go for like something like a 25 here and i don't think that's strong enough i'm also going to increase the overall noisy pattern here and uh, yeah we see something now a bit late but yeah we see some cloth tearing apart so I'm going to go back and just hit this with 35 value and I think this should be strong enough to break this all right so we see something like this all right nice breaking and let's go to the overall IPR to see how this is looking all right so pretty nice cloth tearing apart going on we can probably add some more uh, you can see divisions to this cloth and then we can resim this again to make a cloth pretty smooth looking overall design so always have good amount of geometry when you're using cloth dynamics or if you're tearing anything apart that would just make the whole thing look pretty smooth so i'm going to increase some more wind on this what if i should be fine and if i play this now all right so there you go and now if i go to my ipr all right so this looks pretty neat so you can use this if you want you can create a tearing apart flag kind of thing if you are into this kind of thing so that's it for this one this was a pretty short demonstration overall but you can create some amazing kind of thing with this um, overall constraint and the whole dynamic thing so have fun with this, create something out of this. If you create something out of this, let me know. Please share with me. I'd love to see all your work and I'll see you in the next one.